All right, all right, out here in my garage. I'm going to meet up with Alfredo right now to talk business, talk about the shop, talk about what we got going on. And I, I just want you guys to know something about me is that I wake up every day with a ridiculous amount of energy. And sometimes I really feel like I should not drink coffee because a lot of times I feel like it's too much. But I've been listening to the self-titled Future album that came out and he really said, I just fucked a rapper, bitch. I was on a drug deal. He's the rapper. I love this guy. I haven't even listened to the second album that came out because I just am so focused on the first one and I feel like the first one's the more street one. But I'm gonna get on the second one. Future, I love you. You're the greatest. You're the greatest. The greatest. Shout out to Future. I remember when I used to want to work at Urban Outfitters. And now my store's across the street from Urban Outfitters. Keep that in mind. We're all the time, man. It's good to meet you, guys. Hey, nice to meet you. What was your name one more time? Jason. Jason. Hey, nice to be neighbors with you. Fuck. I, see, I hate this. Yeah. I got to do the left hand slap. It's only excusable because I'm a vlogger. You sure never had a coffee. The coffee Vlogging and the vlog fucks me up. No, but that's like a real disrespect to slap somebody's hand with the left hand. Yeah, so yeah. I take it back. I'm going to give you a real hand, good handshake next time I see you. That's all good. Next time. <laughs> I like also, this is what it's going to look like once we move into a bunch of naked white women. I'm single now, so. What? Hey, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> got that scrimp. Scrimp life. I thought I got the shrimp. Damn, people think we I've eat. Always love that. No, they think we eat out too much. Really? Well, I mean, they I say that to me. Lot, well, I eat out like damn every meal, so I understand why they say it to me. We got a kitchen now, though. Hey, we in the kitchen. We in the kitchen. Foreshadowing. You know what it is? Yeah. Squad. We out here. Melrose. This is our year. Let me DGK. What, what, what ratio we got going here? DGK X, no jumper. You know what it is? We just had a daily brunch. But we fucking just brunched out DGK all day. You yeah. know, I got my tray flips on lock. I'm coming for the figgy tray flip this year. It's my motherfucking dude. I had to say what up. I actually can't Ollie. I just wanted to say that. Uh, this, hey, he can Ollie. He's a G. Hey, Dave, good to see you. Hey, gang. 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 Now it's us. <laughs> Brooklyn projects, man. That's this is right you got too. some fucking memorabilia in here. Yeah. BMX is being represented hard. I guess you put a new whip together. Yeah, putting man, together. Man, Arnold's is here. This is crazy. That's it. Yeah, I was gonna get some parts. I gotta try to find parts for it. this. Is like mine. It's like I'm trying to put parts on it. Now. I get Yo, you know this was the cool frame when I first started riding for Holmes. the record. The Holmes. Yeah. Yep. Shut With up. An OG Airwalk sticker and UGP. That was the era and this Pitchfork sticker. We yeah. have a fucking shovel. Oh yeah. my god, that was the move. I mean, I think now we're gonna make culture. Everything That's it. I don't think he does anything in America. No, I was gonna say by tomorrow. Well, you get to meet Phil too, so that'd be good. Hey, we had a great little uh, soiree we can call here with Sarah. Snowflake. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, Snowflake. That's what you want to go by. Snowflake. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, that, <laughs> okay. that suits you. Goals. My face right there. 2019. So just had a meeting with Sarah. She's a, a new chick that's working under Alfredo. Just want to throw this out there is that you know you see us partying you see us like acting a certain way with certain girls but i mean i have like women working for me now like kim and stuff who i have a huge amount of respect for so i just don't want to get shit fucked up you see us like hanging out with girls and you think you can talk disrespectful about them in the fucking comments it's like all those people that we're partnered with that we work with so just because you hear us having fucking nuanced conversations that might seem kind of misogynistic offensive at times that's not our overall attitude attitude towards women we're all about the people out here so uh, shout out to Sarah. She was really nice and really smart and I think Alfredo might have made a good pick there. Hey, you know, I've picked some winners in my, my career here. <laughs> I don't know what Alfredo just did to my phone because he was trying to set up my Bluetooth and I just got a notification that told me where my car was parked, which I, I didn't need that at all. I already knew where my car was parked, but that was cool. Anyway, the shop is like almost empty. All the shit's almost moved out. Next couple weeks are going to be just focused on getting it 100% ready. We have very, very, very big plans. I don't know what time it is. It's probably like 4 p.m. or some shit. I'm about to head back to the house right now, get the fucking podcast ready for tomorrow, a few other things. I feel like I have this like energy like glowing out of me right now because I'm so excited about the future of my businesses and everything. And I feel like everybody else can feel it too because, I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it at that. But there's a lot of very, very good energy going on right now. Good juju, if you will. 
All right, so I've been home for about two hours catching up on my emails, catching up on Twitter, everything like that. I do have some news for you guys that I can't be super specific about. At some point throughout my life, I will tell you guys the real details of this, but I just turned down a gigantic amount of money, like more than my parents make individually. I just turned down because it was some whack shit that I didn't want to do. And I was just sitting there thinking like, the fact that I just turned that down makes me feel way better than that money sitting in my bank account could ever make me feel. And the reason why I turned it down is because I 100% am sure that it's a good move for me long term to not do it. So I can't give any fucking details away, but I wish I could. Anyway, you know that fool Dane I was talking to before? He's Boo Johnson's friend. And I was just like talking to him and shit. And he said he was pro for DGK or whatever. And I didn't realize I'd like seen all his videos before. And he is fucking crazy as fuck. Fuck. So I just wanted to shout him out like I'm loving the Melrose shit because I just get to meet cool ass dudes like him because I was just sitting in that restaurant with Alfredo and he just came up to me and was showing me love and like shouted me out on his fucking Instagram story and shit like believe me when I say I am not used to fucking pro skateboarders giving a fuck about me so that was cool as fuck and actually right now right now I'm about to drop in and watch an hour and a half long round two video on YouTube I haven't watched one in a like, since I did the, the Sean interview, I, I, I watched a couple before that, but I'm about to watch an hour and a half of, like, them going to Paris and stuff. Like, I actually feel like I really, in Vegas in particular, Sean wasn't out there, but I bonded with, like, the other dudes from round two, and they're super fucking cool, and they seem to be really hyped on me, and they said that people come up to them every day about that interview, so that was awesome. Also, I just want to show you guys how ignorant I am. You know how I order Uber Eats in this video all the time? Sushi, salad, both, like... 60 or more percent full. I'm about to throw these out, I'm about to throw these in the trash. So I'm just having a quiet night in here, unlike the past few nights of my life. And I just wanted to say that that one vlog that I put out the other day, that 30 minute vlog, that was super crazy that I don't really remember much of, I edited that on Lennon's computer, completely blacked out at six o'clock in the morning. And then I put it on a hard drive and then brought it back to the house and put it on my computer and, and uploaded it in the morning, which is, insane like i just can't believe that i did that that's like one of the weirder things that i've done while uh drunk was actually like use somebody else's computer which normally you would consider like a huge pain in the ass but anyway that video for some reason has gotten a lot of views it got like 150,000 views i guess it's pretty good thumbnail and it's really long so it kind of makes sense but this is one of the comments i've never really like responded to like hate comments directly but i guess that's what i'm doing right here you first off jo joni tedder Jesus, I'm not gonna try. You are still unaccomplished at 30 with your homeless Mexican girlfriend. You are a bum. This one is so funny, cause like, she's not even Mexican and obviously this whole, the whole video is about like her house. <laughs> so shout out to this guy, cause that is just like hilarious to me. Next one, cold underscore friction. And he has the cold in alternating caps. I would say, I hope you get AIDS, but I suspect you already have them. <laughs> so not only does he wish death upon me, but he thinks that I already have a terminal disease. So shout out to that guy. Unless you're actively Eiffel towering her together, I'm pretty sure it's a bro foul to keep reminding your homeboy how you nutted in the chick he's trying to spit game at, at that very second. I can't think of a much bigger boner kill than the thought of your homie's cold jizz all up in the chick you're trying to fuck. Step your wingman game up, Adam. Shout out to West Coast OG for this comment. I really hope he actually is a West Coast OG because I could use some West Coast OGs in the comments. Uh, let me know if you fuck with me because I am not from the West Coast and I'm out here trying to be an OG and it's not working because look at all these terrible comments. Anyway, this is a pretty good point that, you know, you probably, if you have banged a girl, you probably shouldn't like mention it to your friend if he's trying to hook up with her. That's a fair point, but the difference is, is that there's a YouTube video about me banging her. So it's like very, very public knowledge. And I think it has like a million views. So, you know, it's not really exactly like a secret. And, you, you know, you might be able to tell from my videos that we have a, a, a quite liberal uh, policy on sex in our crew and amongst a lot of the people we hang out with and it's not really like this taboo subject where if two people had sex you like can never talk about it and there's nothing wrong with it shout out to any girl who has ever taken dick from multiple people 
within my friend group because I have so much respect for you for doing that. And really, I think that the world would be a much worse place if you had not done that. Who cares? Everybody should be fucking each other. That's like the point that I think I'm trying to get here is like everybody should be fucking. Everyone's fucking. Shout out to Trev. Rub gang. Peace. Rock and roll.